uh, sa zona niya, he mentions figures eh. Yes, pati 18% yung, pa, pati, nga. Pati unemployment rate. Kine, nakikwestiyon natin, tinanong natin ang doli. Mali-mali din ang mga figures. So, so ito, kung sabihin ng Presidente, poverty incidence rate will be down to 9% at the end of his term. Yun ang sabi. That's, but, uh, that's, yes. uh, oh, but the, that's starting, the goal. The starting point is 22%. If, if the DSWD figures are to be believed, mali! It should be 30%. Then how can he bring it down to 9% at the end of his term? Kaya yung plano niya sa 2028, by the time the president exits, 9% na lang daw, single digit na daw ang poverty incidence rate, kawawa naman kung hindi talaga ma-achieve. Grabe ito, ate ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos na si Senator Amy Marcos iginisa ni Senator Coco Pimentel sa Senado. Senator Coco Pimentel, kinwestiyon ang mga pangako ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos. Ano kaya ang sagot ng ate ng Pangulo? Kami po minority sa Senate. Hindi kami aligned with the administration. Okay? Sabi ko, ang tantawag namin, we are critical cooperators. We want, we want the administration to succeed. Okay? Kasi ang success naman niya, success ng bansa eh. Okay? Tama. Pero, tingnan niyo naman yung mga pangako tuloy ng Presidente, who is the brother of our sponsor na I hope umabot on a Sunday uh, lunch meeting sa kanya. Okay? 20 pesos per kilo rice. Rice. Oh, siyempre binis niya yun on something but if it was fed uh, garbage in, garbage out okay, ang plano sa energy to, bago daw siya matapos ang kanyang termino total household electrification hearing natin magkano budget? 70 billion saan ang manggagaling? di pa namin alam o oh, uh, official development assistant sa housing housing ah. 6 million units, homes. Binabala sa 3 million. At the end of my term, 1 million a year. E 1 year, aning, more than 1 year now. Wala pa eh. Na-actual term. So in-adjust na. In-adjust na lang. 6 million housing units to be launched. Oh. I mean, and then, and then the poverty incidence rate. Ah... Uh, No, I share uh, I share the minority leader's frustration and uh, and I do not know the president very well but I know he's he, he has interest in mathematics. Yes. Okay. Alam ko yan. Alam si alam ni Ate siguro yan. Okay. He's a he's math and in physics mathematics. major okay. pop. Math and physics. Okay. Yes, pop. And then he so he always mentions governance being science based. Okay, science based. Oh, mali, mali. Science based means you analyze the data, make your conclusions, but the data are researched. Iba iba klase research, theoretical, and of course the uh, on the ground research. So, siguro uh, it's time for uh, this administration to shape up in the first step. Let's have accurate data, collect collect accurate data so that the scientific-based decision-making process of this administration will really be uh, effective and uh, based on realities on the ground, Mr. President. Yes, uh, I think uh, we all share your frustration and that is why Listahan and 3 will now be folded. PSA hopefully is strengthened and uh, fed through the CBMS uh, system. And that way we get a more coherent picture in the Philippines. Kawawa kasi Presidente rin, Mr. President. Uh, sa zona niya, he mentions figures eh. Yes, pati 18% yung, pa, pati, nga. Pati, pati unemployment rate. Kine, nakikwestiyon natin, tinanong natin ang doli. Mali-mali din ang mga figures. So, so ito, kung sabihin ng Presidente, poverty incidence rate will be down to 9% at the end of his term. Yun ang sabi. That's, but, uh, that's, yes. uh, oh, but the, that's start, the goal. The starting point is 22%. If, if the DSWD figures are to be believed, mali! It should be 30%. Then how can he bring it down to 9% at the end of his term, Mr. President? So let's help the let's help the administration. We help the president by giving him 
feeding him correct figures or uh, siguro may, 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 may factual basis naman po yung ating mga figures. Hindi lang siguro baka desktop or tabletop uh, uh, calculations lang po ito. Actually, I appreciate yan the listahanan. Eh. Kaya siga, ang assumption ko niyan, from the ground, sinuyod niyo po yung... That's correct. Yeah. Kasi may mga pangalan yan eh. Oh. Hindi katulad ng uh, PSA na sampling. Nagsasample rin yung listahanan, pero basically, as you huh? said, it's derived from the ground. Then how come the administration does not use the 30% figure of uh, this WT? The more accurate figure. Kaya yung plano niya sa 2028, by the time the president exits, 9% na lang daw, single digit na daw ang poverty incidence rate. Kawawa naman kung hindi talaga ma-achieve because he assumed 20, 18 or 22% ng assumption. I'm getting the MTFF assumptions, Mr. President. Yes, I think um, the uh, idea or the uh, strategy of the DSWD is to saturate the poorest barangays. So, yung uh, uh, more uh, prosperous are excluded in their listing, which probably bloats the poverty number to 30%. The saturation of rural and urban poor yan, eh. Secretary, with your people, it does not, nga, eh, for much of, but that's my point. Even if we assume that the unsurveyed 5 million are all rich, are all rich 30% pa rin, ang, eh, mas masaba nga yung sinasabi nyo na 15, 6 million of the 15 are poor. Al, na, ano na yun, eh? 30 plus percent, 36 percent, more than 36 percent. Mas malaki talaga ever since yung DSWD working figures for poverty than PSA. Mulat sa pool, there's always been that disconnect. Uh, Pero, and we've I, I mean, always questioned it here in the Senate and uh, the answer has always been that their focus is uh, to saturate the rural and urban poor barangays. Yeah, but the, the administration which the secretary is part of off. Okay? You, the, your success will be measured against your promises. Tandaan nyo, the president promised at the end of his term, single digit poverty, poverty. incidence rate. Ang interpretation ko doon, not more than 9%. Correct. Okay. And of course, may assumption siya. Di ba saan siya nagumpisa? Di ba? Nung, nung na-turn over sa administration niya, may assumption siya. Ang layo, ang, ang na-assumption na it's not in the vicinity of 30%, which is reflected by your figures na sinuyod ninyo from the ground. Ang, mas maganda nga yung figures ninyo. Mas maniniwala ako sa figures ninyo. Well, Talagang ever since PSA, mas malaki talaga ang uh, DSWD at... Uh, Mas maniniwala ako sa DSWD no. with all due respect no. dahil may mga pangalan, may mga address, may kung sino-sino talaga ang nakalistang poor. Yeah, ang, ang tanong ko po, do we see the problem or or not? Yun yung tanong yes. Ko eh. I mean, <laughs> yes, we're with you in uh, in uh, complaining about this uh, moving targets. Even the MTFF will fail, Mr. President, kung mali ang assumptions. I think that's the reason reason why Listahanan 3 is now going to be folded in the PSA and CBMS data from the ground will be submitted to the PSA once and for all so we can consolidate all accurate data from below rather than uh, uh, projecting or uh, um, sampling and so on. Ito, at least we're, we're talking to the president's sister. So, <laughs> I don't our sponsor. know if that, uh, Madam, if that okay. helps the Madam, okay. But you know, I think uh, uh, there's a great hope pinned on the CBMS actually consolidating data once and for all. Dahil, uh, as we know, yung PSA naman, very undermanned then. And uh, the 2020 uh, census, as a matter of fact, was finished very late dahil nga sa COVID. So talaga may problem problema lahat ng datos natin. Kaya naman, ikaw bilang isang Pilipino, ano sa palagay mo? Kaya kayang matupad ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos lahat ng kanyang ipinangako bago matapos ang kanyang termino? I-comment mo na dyan sa ibaba.